Hello, I'm Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com. In this mini-series, I'm showing you some of my favourite Waves audio plugins. Today, an excellent noise removal plugin from Waves coming up. Okay, great to have you here. If you like this video, hit the like button. Also remember to subscribe and ding the bell on my channel so you never miss another audio production tutorial. Now, we all come across noise at some point. You can probably see it here in this waveform. I've got the NS1 here from Waves, the noise suppressor, down at zero, so it's not doing any noise reduction at the moment. And you might be able to hear that, but I can probably make it a little bit louder for you so you can really hear the background noise. There is that background noise. It's not pretty. And here's our speaker. Yeah. Um, one. So all throughout our speaker speaking, we have got this background noise going on. Let me switch on the preview mode so you can see before up here, after down here. And as I slowly, gradually increase this NS1, you'll see the wavy noise starts to disappear. It's already r radically reduced on just 12% here. Not too bad. Push it up a bit more, and you can see that the reduction of the noise is going even greater there. Let's push it up to about 53%. Pretty much completely gone, that noise. Yeah. Um, one, uh, one hurdle that I noticed last year, or actually the year before last. So you can actually see it's suppressing the noise. Every time there is no speech there, it's just eliminating that noise, but it's focusing on retaining the speech and not altering the sound of the dialogue as many noise uh, reduction plugins do. They actually affect the dialogue as well. This one focuses more on the quiet spots, on those spots where you will have background noise and not the speech. So a really good plugin in general uh, for just eliminating noise when required. Obviously, I can push it up to 100 and you'll see the line goes completely flat in between the speech there. This is further enhanced when I switch on spectral frequency display and you see all the noise going on in the before view, but it's pretty much gone in after. I can actually go ahead and apply this. And then if I want to finalize this and just really round this piece of speech off and make it great, I would actually go in and maybe add some noise gate of my own just to make sure there's no background noise leaking through at all. Uh, so over here on the dynamics effect in Adobe Audition, I'm just simply going to add this in. We can go to the preview window here just to see what's going on. Probably a bit harsh, that threshold, so I'll bring it down. And there you can see now that this is nice and clean, no background noise whatsoever completely black indicating silence and then where we do have speech we have the spectral frequency on and with just a little bit of waves ns1 and of course throwing on a noise gate afterwards to just finalize everything we can get really clean crispy audio uh, for our podcasts for our productions for our videos for any interview we create and more it's waves ns1 and if you want to get it at a 10 percent discount go ahead and use my link it doesn't cost you any more in fact it costs you less to use my link mrc.fm forward slash waves that is mrc.fm forward slash waves waves.